slip in and you come back again for a jug of that good old mountain dew. They call it that good old mountain dew, and then that refuse it a few. Hush up my mug if you feel what my jug, that good old mountain dew.
we got the big fan turned on tonight so all y'all get a breeze. <laughs> I'm afraid that I don't have that control. <laughs> we do want to welcome all the diehard bluegrass fans That's out here. That's faithful few. The faithful few. Once again, Ross installed this while he was sitting down. So we're going to fix that a little bit. Okay. Little bluebirds are singing for me in the key of A. the first real day of fall. We all voted a while ago. It feels so good. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm going to tell you what. This has been one of them weeks. Amen. <laughs> I've been, Don't I, even start. I'm going to tell them just a little bit. We've been trying to get the hay fields cut around our house so that, the, so that the city won't get after us for not cutting our grass. And uh, so we did get it cut about a week ago and we started to bail and the baler broke on the first bail. So there we sit. Me and Carol worked on that baler all week. I said, I got it figured out. I think it's going to work. So we got out there yesterday, and she said, how are you going to get on the tractor this time? You can't climb a ladder. And I said, we got it figured out. We got a front porch, and one of the steps don't have no railings. 
And we learned years ago, we'd back that truck up, roll a refrigerator right off on the front porch and go in the house with it. And I said, I tell you what, you back that truck up to the porch and I'll just get in the truck and sit down in a folding chair. Go get a metal chair yeah, and, and boards in case and I need to walk said, across. You take me up, you put that tractor, she could drive the tractor. I said, you put that tractor in the driveway where it's a little lower than the truck, and I'll gain two or three inches, and you back up, and you bump that front tire with that tailgate, and it'll rise up a little bit, and I can get in that tractor. So I was telling, we went out to eat last night with Gary and Dolores, and I was telling him about my big plans. And he said, what are you gonna do if it catches on fire? I said, well, I'll jump he's out. He's like, don't even talk like I that. I said, but I, if I have, if it really does, I'll jump. I ain't stupid. <laughs> and so we got out there today to roll some hay. The last wind row, the, the last, last 20 feet, I heard something go woo, 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 and smoke just covered me up. And I grabbed and the I phone. And I see this. Yeah, she was watching. And I grabbed the phone, I said, get down here, I'm on fire. And so I have to run and go get the truck over well yonder and back, hurry and try to back it up. I'm like, I was panicking. She, uh, I called her back, I said, you slow down, the smoke's clearing out. I think the fire has gone out. It took her five minutes to get me out of that tractor. Oh, it was longer because than that. the truck was no longer higher than the, where the tractor was. It picked a bad place to catch on fire. I had to, I had to go down. We got some big long boards and put them on the tailgate and on the tractor. And I had to, with that walker, I had to walk them two boards to it get was to like the truck. Like walking a gangplank is what it was. And, it wasn't nothing, it really did get on fire. The air, air conditioner compressor froze up and burnt the belt into. So, you know, we, we, can, we can still use it. Don't need no air conditioner today, no way. So. The moral of this story is, we'll get to work on this probably another week. And, and then, we'll probably come back next time and go. And so this on the way down is, here, she said, well, what's going to happen now? I said, everything's going to be okay, honey. It's going to be all right. We're going to have a good time tonight. We got right up there that you hung the truck up in gear. Again. In high gear this time. And she's up there at the stop sign, revving up the motor, the smoke coming off the clutch, trying to get it. We finally oh, stopped good. down here. Oh, yeah. Ben walked over and helped us Thank get it out of gear. Thank ben, ben saw us. A train come. We pulled over over here in the car parking lot, and here comes the train. As soon as the train come by here, come Ben across the tracks to rescue us. Thank you, Ben. He's rescued us every week with him gears. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna do this. I don't know, but I'm going home in first gear. <laughs> I can guarantee you that. I'm just. If you get behind me, just wait. After the show, we'll be taking up a collection for Carol. Because <laughs> she's going to need... I need some uh, nerve pills. What you need is therapy. Is what you need. Will the Dodge not fit in the carport? It won't. Oh, well. All right, here we go. That is a sad dog. All right, what are we doing? Tina at the something teardrop in. Told her he wouldn't make it home for dinner. He'd be working late at the Wolf Creek mine again. But she followed him to Kermit, West Virginia. 
and she watched him bark behind the teardrop in. And she cried, Bobby, I've always loved you. I would have stood by you until the end. But I'd rather see a cold stone above you. To see you in the arms of Tina at the teardrop in Mr. Willie Wall. Said, say your prayer and have yourself a cold one. Watch this Smith and Wesson shaking in my hand. There will be no cold but water where you're going. There will be no Tina, there'll be no teardrop in. She cried, Bobby, I've always loved you. I would have stood by you until the end. But I'd rather see a cold shown above you than to see you in the arms of Tina at the teardrop end. John English. Last week, called working on a building, and it, we didn't forget all the words on it. We'll try it again tonight. Oh, you gonna do it? Okay. Yeah. I have no idea what the verse is gonna be, but we'll do it. That almost having that near-death experience with that fire put a pep in him, ain't it? <laughs> you ready, John? Here we go, one call, working on the building. If I was a sinner, I'd tell you what I'd do. What would you do, Ross? I would quit that sinning, and I'd work on the building too. Working on the building, working on the building, working on the building for oh, my Lord, for oh, my Lord. It's a Holy Ghost building, it's a Holy Ghost building, it's a Holy Ghost building for oh, my Lord, for oh, my Lord. If I was a 
gambler, I tell you what I do. Would you go to Las Vegas? No. What would you do? I would quit a deal in them cars, work on a building too. Working on a building, working on a building, working on a building. Holy Ghost building, it's a Holy Ghost building, it's a Holy Ghost building, for my Lord, for my Lord, do it John. If I was a politician, whoa, whoa, tell whoa. You, Politician? Yeah, politician. You really want to get in that mess? You know, one time about 30 years ago when I first married Carol, I run for city council right here in Locust Grove. That was the biggest mistake you ever made. I got beat by 16 votes. <laughs> and I realized... I, pray, I prayed for that. I realized about a year later, I had 16 real friends in this town. <laughs> If I was a politician, tell you what I'd do. What would you do, Ross? I would quit a telling them lies. Work on a building, too. Working on a building. Working on a building. Working on a building. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. made a good preacher. I probably wouldn't make a good preacher. Well, wife. you know, I love to eat the, the, uh, the oh, <laughs> fried chicken. I love to eat the gospel bird. <laughs> you know, chicken. Uh, all right, then. Go for it. If I was a preacher, man, I'd tell you what I'd do. What would you do? I would keep on preaching and I'd work on the building, too. Working on a building, working on a building, working on a building, for oh my Lord, for oh my Lord. It's a Holy Ghost building, it's a Holy Ghost building, it's a Holy Ghost building, for oh my Lord, for oh my Lord. For my Lord. I forgot. Sam is practicing to be a preacher. Sam is the only man I know that went to a barbecue at lunch and then turned around and went to another barbecue for dinner tonight. Yeah, but it was stew and chicken. Yeah, one of them was chicken and one of them was pork. Come on, Sammy, I'll let you sing a song. here and do how mountain girls can love. I, I bought mine in tune. I don't know what's wrong with the rest of you guys. You're not dressed in Georgia Tech colors tonight. I'm very disappointed. I hate that. <laughs> Wait a minute. Well, it's got gray and red and red and gray. Ready to sing a little how mountain girls can love. Yes, sir. Hit it.
song called Holding Up the Ladder. For some reason I thought we'd already done that, but we did walking on the building, didn't we? Or yeah, we did that, and we've done some backtracking. You all ready? TV song called Petticoat Junction. Here comes a train. Oh no. Maybe it will if we get a break. Oh, it's in a river. <laughs>
earlier my I completely caught my my pick in my string there so if you heard a, a bump in the night that was me Don't fit me anymore. My walk shoes don't fit me anymore. Stay on your side of town, honey. I won't be around. My walk shoes don't fit me killing in it it don't have no moonshine in it or nothing like that so they'll be disappointed yeah but now it's a good song though <laughs> call this heart of mine ready whenever you want this heart of mine is made of silver this heart of mine is made of
time. Now Sam is gonna come up here and do rolling in my sweet baby's arms. We'll put you right to work, you didn't are, we? I know it. You ain't rolling nothing today but barbecue. <laughs> That's what you get when you didn't bring us nothing. Well, I didn't, you didn't tell me. I hey, mean, he brought me some stew and I had it for lunch, oh and that's the best stew awesome. I've eaten in a long, long time. We made three 20-gallon pots of Brunswick stew, and we sold most of it today. Oh, wow. Good. We uh, <clears throat> worked hard. You worked hard. Well, I, I actually sat down yeah, and supervised, truth. kind of. But he, Donald had three better supervisors than me, so. I did stir the pot a little bit. Okay, so what you were <laughs> is you were a middle level management. Yes, sir. With That's supervisors it. working for you. Yeah. Okay, there we go. But I did stir the pot. But <laughs> now, <laughs> now today, today he was the main man because that's who you had to give your money to. Yeah. Yeah, now they did trust me with the money, so. <laughs> <laughs> I got to stand in the door and take up tickets and money. And there's two, there's two of my customers way in the back. Old David and his buddy. They come over and eat Brunswick Stew's barbecue with me. Hey, y'all look in the back. ZZ Top came out to watch us tonight. <laughs> really? Look at that. I didn't even know they were coming. Yeah. This is great. You, you know that song about legs that they did? Could you sing that for us? Legs. If I could. She got legs or something. No, I don't, I don't, I'm going to leave that alone. Legs okay. up to her neck. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> Barbecue and wild mountain flowers. That's all you got on your mind. Smoking meat, smoking flowers. <laughs> oh. 
back in just a few minutes. Before we take a break, um, I need to tell y'all one quick thing. This week, Ross is having a birthday. And it's a big one. It's a good one. Yeah, I'm gonna be 65. 65, yeah. But anyway, on the picnic table back there, we brought a cookie cake and some sweet people made cookies and we got all kind of sweets back there. If you would come celebrate with him, and I need a picture with your cake first. I didn't know about all this. He didn't know about all this. And yes, we do need to sing. Ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Ross. Happy birthday to you. We're going to start again. Thank you for partying. Thank you for being there. You want to say something about Thank that? you for partying with us. This will be a birthday we won't never forget. Thank you. Can you take a break on this instead of riding?
Hey, you might as well stay on up here and do Katie Daly. Well, I'm glad that was over because I had a pick fixing to come off. <laughs> I got a, a pick story when we first started back in the in the 70s, we was playing for this folks and they put us on the on the porch above the food. <laughs> and me and Sammy was just like we are now. We were on this side. And when I first started playing these double strings before I figured out what to do, would catch my pick and sling it out of my hand. Well, you know how a deck's got them little slats in it? I watched that pick go up and went through that slat and they put the food under us. And my pick landed in the potato salad. <laughs> now, the bad thing about it was is we didn't eat none of that food because back then me and Sammy was a lot more rambunctious than we are now. But they did, it landed in there, and it was one of the red ones, looked sort of like a pimento pepper. And I went down there digging through that, and I never did find my pick. Somebody found it. Didn't yeah, they chewed on it a while. Katie Davis. <laughs> Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Gatlinburg, is that where Rocky Top is? Yeah, a little old Rocky Knoll out from Gatlinburg. Oh, Rocky Top. Do they, make, do they cook barbecue on there? Uh, <laughs> probably. Uh, Sammy would probably go if they had barbecue there. <laughs> there probably wouldn't have been any lost love involved <laughs> if there'd been barbecue on the mountain. That's right. Everybody would be happy. Yeah. 
Alright, we fixing to do our song called I Saw the Light, and I know everybody out there knows it, so y'all sing along with us on it. Everybody ready? Was it good barbecue? It was good barbecue. But I ate and I had to make an excuse to leave to come here. You had to make an excuse? Why didn't yeah. you just tell them you're coming here? You didn't make an excuse. Just say, I'm I coming over there. I am. And they should all come with you. They didn't. They didn't. No. They should be they had their own band. They had their own, they had their own band. They had their own band. Yes. I bet it wasn't a bluegrass it band. Was, it was not. Probably ZZ Top. It, it could be. It could be. They had an electric banjo. Wait, aren't they had an electric banjo. They had an electric banjo. There ain't no such thing. Go ahead. <laughs> Kick it oh. up. <laughs> Shoes and stockings and her hair and feet all over the floor. 
sweetest boy that ever lived and died. Ever lived and died. Thank you for healing the light. Amen. I see the light, people. I see the light. <laughs> what it was is she was saving so she could put the spotlight on her. Her. She only wanted on her. All right, now we're going to do some bear tracks. Is that right, Ross? Bear tracks, bear tracks. What did I see? High on the mountain, boys, what did I see? Bear track, bear tracks, look back at me. Better get your rifle for before it's too late. Gun got a little big and headed for the gate. And he's been around the middle and he brought a roll to run. With nine miles an hour, taking third foot a jump. Ain't got a big collie, ain't never been free. coming there. Yeah. 
Hey, have, have you noticed it's so cool there haven't been hardly any motorcycles that are loud? And I won't jinx it, but there have been no trains. We're going to call one in now with a little yeah. Georgia band about lost love, a runaway love. <laughs> For real? For real. <laughs> gospel song it's called gospel ship and like i say every time i we talk about it i asked if, if you don't have that ticket for that ship see me afterwards and i'll tell you how to get it and just remember one thing it's free and the results is everlasting yeah. everybody ready <laughs> Somebody ain't in C. I'm in the wrong key. Huh? What key is it in? It's in C. C. I noticed I something didn't sound key. quite right. That was the jazz version. Now we're going to do the bluegrass version. Uh, I might have been in the right key. Y'all was in the wrong key. Was that what it was? <laughs> I can't sing that thing in G. Uh, do it with it. Been resting all day. Do it, Willie. Really. Sailing through the 
behind Well, I'm sailing to the end I'm gonna take a trip on that old gospel ship Going far beyond the sky I'm gonna shout and sing until the heavens ring I bid this world goodbye When I bid this world goodbye Do what kind of man or, or Glendale train? Let's do Glendale train and then what kind of man? All right, Glendale train. Oh yeah. What kind of man? Bye, y'all. Thank you for coming. See ya. On the Glendale train in the dining car, they always served barbecue. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Until they was robbed. And blew and up the car. Blew up the car and killed that man and spread him out all over the land. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How does this go, Sammy? Somebody, Somebody robbed the Glendale train this morning at half past nine. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. 
is going to be the last one for the night for those of you who are freezing. And we're going to finish up with a gospel number. What kind of man? And just a reminder, we won't be here next week. First time we've missed all since April, I reckon. But watch my Facebook page. You know, if for some reason it warms back up and it gets pretty, you know how it does. We can come back a couple more Saturdays, so I will keep you informed. This is about barbecue. It's about barbecue. Jesus walked across the Sea of Galilee for a plate of barbecue and a loaf of bread. White bread. He fed 5,000 people with one loaf of white bread. And found barbecue. Well, it had to be chicken barbecue. Chicken barbecue. Because at that time, that sheet ain't fell down and said, what well, would... They could eat they... anything they wanted to. Yeah, Peter hadn't seen the sheet, See, so yeah. they couldn't... Yeah, we're going to preach a sermon here in a minute. Hang on. <laughs> okay. Oh. What? Yeah, you don't have to go in the morning. You can sleep late, sir. Now, wait a minute now. If Jesus rose from the dead, you can rise from the bed to go to church. There you go. All right, now we're going to have some more people start leaving if you just keep preaching. I'm going to take up a collection. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought you already took up a collection over the barbecue. Well, Ross is going to be a preacher. He's sung about it a while ago. Yeah, he's singing about being a preacher. Here we go, Ross. <laughs> Safe going home, and like Carol said, watch Facebook. <laughs>